A global UN AIDS report has highlighted the risk that people living with HIV face as the COVID-19 pandemic drags on. The study suggests that widening inequality and low access to vaccines are putting HIV-positive people at a higher risk. Meanwhile, HIV testing has dropped by almost 50% in regions like KwaZulu-Natal in South Africa, which carries the highest HIV burden on the continent. CGTN's Julie Shire reports. Speaker Medi manages the Hillcrest AIDS Center Respite Unit in South Africa. Four in ten people live with HIV in this little town. Gamedi says she's concerned by the marked increase in admissions since the lockdown began close to 18 months ago. We are receiving more patients that have defaulted their treatment uh, who are very ill uh, because they haven't collected their treatment from the clinic. They're saying it's because of the lockdown. They're not allowing anyone to come into the clinic. They are allowing only a few patients a day. So it was not easy for them to go and collect their treatment in their appointment dates. A significant drop in HIV testing is of further worry. Fear of contracting COVID-19 and stricter lockdown periods have kept patients away. According to the United Nations, it has plummeted by at least 48% in this province alone. So a drop in testing means there are less people aware of their HIV status. So they may have been at risk or they may um, have contracted HIV but yet aren't aware. And if they aren't aware of their status, then they're not accessing treatment. They haven't initiated treatment. If they haven't initiated treatment, that means they also haven't yet achieved a reduced viral load, which means they can um, pass the virus on. Flu vaccination rates have also meant that most of the population here and in other parts of South Africa remain at risk. Vaccine hesitancy is also a challenge. They are scared that they are going to die because they defaulted their treatment. They were very ill. They were not sure what's going to happen to them when they get the vaccine because there were a lot of rumors that if you get vaccine, you're going to die, you're going to get ill. South Africa carries the biggest HIV burden on the continent. It made significant progress in putting 70% of 7.7 .7 million HIV positive people on antiretroviral treatment before the COVID-19 pandemic. But these numbers may have fallen behind. So as things stabilize, um, there needs to be major camp, public health campaigns to keep prom promotion, the same messages that we've been giving for decades, that people get tested, they know their status, they're responsible with to initiate treatment and to be adherent to their treatment. That will prevent any um, spike in new cases um, and ongoing leading to AIDS and increased deaths. South Africa has significantly stepped up its vaccine program. Rates, however, still remain low. Less than 1% of the population has been fully vaccinated. In order to get health services and its antiretroviral program on track again, it will have to work a lot harder towards achieving herd immunity. Julie Shara, CHTN, Cape Town, South Africa. Well, let's get more on that story now. We're joined by Dr. Anne Fortin, an incident manager for COVID-19 at the WHO. Dr. Fortin is based in Congo, Brazzaville. Doctor, how do HIV patients deal with the risks that are highlighted in the report, both in the short and long term? Well, good evening. Uh, indeed, uh, WHO just published a report that is showing that the people living with HIV are more at risk for more severe disease and more hospitalization and death are uh, really uh, up to 30% more um, uh, severe disease. And this is demonstrated with other study that's been conducted in the United Kingdom and South Africa. So, and what we've seen also from surveys is not only they are more, they're more at risk of severe disease, but uh, they're more at risk of having uh, disrupted services. So. Uh, a survey we conducted demonstrated that 61% of the country really had uh, the HIV services which uh, were not well functioning in the past year. So it's important for people uh, who are living with HIV to really prevent the disease, the COVID-19 uh, disease and uh, keep on uh, taking their medication uh, for HIV, but uh, for most also to get vaccinated for COVID-19. And doctor, looking at the response then, how are governments dealing with this situation and would you say it's adequate? Well, like I was saying, uh, government 
but really have to ensure that while fighting for COVID-19, they really maintain essential services. And this is for um, HIV, infectious diseases, but also for maternal health, child health, vaccination. They need to maintain those services. They also need to monitor the services because uh, to really uh, look on ensuring that uh, if there's any drop in it, that they can uh, act on it. And uh, doctor, what more then do you think needs to be done to help improve the situation? Well, um, uh, of course, COVID-19 is uh, unprecedented, uh, really, and a uh, vaccine is certainly a way to go forward. And in Africa, it's, uh, uh, the vaccine uh, has not been uh, supply has been more a trickle than a flow, really, and, and that's been explained uh, by several things. We probably overestimated the capacity of production, but uh, we had around the month uh, the, um, the Indian uh, supplies that were supposed to uh, supply Africa, uh, which had um, to slow down because of the uh, third, the, the waves that was happening in India. And of course, that nationalism that we see from uh, the wealthy country. So really, uh, what needs to be done is to ensure that Africa gets its share of vaccine, that people get vaccinated. All vaccines are safe for people living with HIV. All of them are, are really safe. And it's important that people get vaccinated as soon as uh, they, they can access when it's offered. They have to say yes to the vaccine. Doctor, thank you very much for speaking to us on Africa Live. Dr. Anne Fortin, Incident Manager for COVID-19 with the WHO, joining us live there from Congo, Brazzaville.